the tenses and everything are so much different. Uh, we will look at that as we go. We looked in, into the grammar a little bit last week. We're going to read a little Hebrew tonight. It's, it's, you know, we we're into the third chapter, but you didn't get to read with me before, did you? You were just repeating after me. See? So now I want you to go to uh, uh, Jonah 1 and 1. We're going to rehearse a little bit about the book, which I have written out a little uh, facts about the book of Jonah, the rebellious prophet. Basically, the book of Jonah was written between 753 and 800 B.C. It should be 800 to 753 B.C., somewhere around there. Uh, I've told you before that the, the book of Jonah is a book of predestination, foreordination, and election. More than probably any other book in the Bible. It's a, it's a fantastic book on the foreordination, the calling of God, election, salvation. It is a book that opens up the world of God to the heathen nations. Uh, Nineveh was a heathen nation. Okay, Let's look at this together. God foreordained Abraham. He foreordained Isaac, Jacob, which is called later called Israel. God foreordained Nineveh. Nineveh, remember, gave a lot of uh, great inventions and ideas to the civilized world. We know what was the greatest, the most advanced nation in the world ever. What was the greatest nation ever in inventions and, and, and things? What was the greatest nation, had the greatest navy in the world and everything, but was totally a separatist? They did not believe in cooperating or... Uh, they said the rest of the world didn't have anything for them. There was nothing there that they needed until they needed silver. Oh, Spain? China. China was so much far more advanced than Europe than anything else. What the China of the Middle East was now. I want you to understand that. In 14, well, 1300, China had an armada of 318 ships that were bigger than anything that Europe had, period. They had bilge pumps in those ships. They had rust-proof nails. They had double hulls. They had multiple sails. They had guns. <laughs> Which, that, you know, China invented the cannon. China invented the gunpowder. They invented all of those things. Uh, China invented medicine. Uh, herbal medicine. All that. Well, China of the Middle East was Nineveh. They did a lot in mathematics. They uh, pretty much invented plumbing. Of course, China did too. The flush toilet, which China did too. All right. Uh, warfare with iron weapons. Agriculture with iron uh, implements. That was from uh, Nineveh. Your lock and keys, your doors, all that stuff was from Nineveh. Your irrigation, irrigating uh, uh, what we call, everything else was dry land farming. The Middle East. Now we have Nineveh. And of course we had Egypt doing irrigation. Also Egypt, uh, the name Egyptos of Mitzrayim. What does Mitzrayim mean? Mitzrayim. What? Red Earth. Um, what does Mitzrayim mean? Red Earth and Canal. The land of red dirt and canal banks. All right, that's what Egypt means, or Mithraim. Okay. Uh, God foreordained Joppa. Joppa was a seaport in exactly the right place where he, he, she could be used when Nineveh was there, or when uh, uh, Jonah went to Nineveh, or was not going to go to Nineveh. The Tarshish, the shipbuilding nation of the Middle East. Of course, we know that China had great warships. They said when China came, when they went and visited other nations, it said it looked like an island coming out. The ships were so big. It scared them to death. But they didn't have anything. They didn't see anything there they wanted. So they didn't go conquer anybody. They just let things be. I don't, you people are uncivilized. We don't, you don't have anything that we need. 
The storm was foreordained, the ship's captain was foreordained, the crew of the ship was foreordained, the great leviathan or fish was foreordained, the caster being flat was foreordained, the worm was foreordained, and the sun would shine hotly during this period of time, just those days when God wanted to shine hotly. God saved every person that Jonah presented the word of God to or the truth of who Jehovah was. Every person, as far as we know, was saved. He did not preach willingly, did he? No. A complete shipload of people believed and all the people in Nineveh believed from the king down to the pauper. All the livestock of that great city which God was greatly worried about was saved. Jonah drowned, died in the storm, swallowed by a fish or a leviathan that was foreordained to transport him. Now let's go back and read some of this book. Jonah. See that one and one up there? Jonah one and one. Now it reads from right to left. Okay? So open up your Hebrew there. Yonah, Wahi, Dabar, Hadabar, El Yonah, Ben, Amite, Lemor. Okay, that's the first word, Jonah. Uh, and he became the word of Jehovah unto jo Jonah, son of Amiti. What does Amiti mean? Look down there at the bottom. What does Amiti mean? Oh, Amiti means truthful. His father's name was truthful. Okay. What does Jonah mean? Duh. All right. What does Nineveh mean? House of the fish god. All right. House of the fish god. Okay. And he became the word of Jonah unto the son of Amiti to speak. Guma, Lek, El Nineveh, Nineveh, Haerer. Ha Gedola. Yukara. Aliha. Ki. Alitha. Riatham. Lefane. Kuma. Arise. Mask in the scene or cow imperfect. Arise. Or uh, their imperative, that is. And you go and walk. Walk unto Nineveh, the city, the great, and cry out against her. The city is feminine. Okay, remember I told you these things? Now you get to look at it. And uh, cry out against her. She has come up their evils to my face. Her evils have come up to my face. Two in verse, or one in verse three. Wayagam. Yonah, Devrok, Tarshisha, Melethane, Hadavar, Wayared, Yapo, Wayamitsi, Ania, Baa, Tarshish, Wayatin, Sikara, Wayared, Ba, Ba, Labo, Yemahem, Tarshisha, Melethene, Hadwar. And he rose up and kept on rising up. Yonah to flee to Tarshish. Tarshish means what? What does Tarshish mean? Tarshish means hard or like a rock. Okay? Uh, from the, before the face of Jehovah. Look at that word Jehovah. That's all the bar there. Jehovah means he who shall become. I want you to get that across your head. Just write everything right there. Right when you look in the mirror, you'll see all the bar means the word. Okay? Jehovah, the one who shall become. And he came down to Yapa. What does Yapa mean? Beautiful. Beautiful. It was a beautiful place, a beautiful seaport. All right? And he found, and kept on founding, uh, 
a ship that she is going to Tarshish, Tarshish, the ship she is going to Tarshish. And he gave its wages, and he went down into her to go, that's a Cal infinitive construct, to go with them uh, to Tarshish from before the face of Jehovah. Now he's been running from God. He's running from God. Wahadavar. Hotel, Hotel. Ruah, Rudala, El Hayan, Wahi, Saor, Gado, Bayam, Weho Anaya, Hish Shiva, Li Hish Shaver, and Jehovah the one who shall become, he had cast a wind of great. Look at that word wind, ruach. Say ruach. 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 That's like clearing your throat, ruach. All right. A wind, gedolah. Gedolah means great. Into the sea. And the sea, he, or, and he became a storm. The storm is a he there. Okay. A great storm in sea. Now, what does sea mean? What does water for sea mean? What's the idea of sea mean? Remember that one? Many sea? People? Huh? Many people? Sea. Sea. What's it mean? Remember? Sharon, sea. Say many. Many drops of water. A sea has got many drops of water in it. Okay? It's got an idea of individual drops of water all combined together. All right? Hashemayim. What does that mean? Hashemayim. Hashemayim waters. waters. Thank you, Brother Mike. Uplifted waters. The sky, at one time, the earth was covered with the ocean above the earth. It was an ocean above the earth. Originally, it was kind of like a filter. The uplifted waters. And uh, in a storm great, in a sea, and the ship, uh, she had uh, devised to just break up in pieces to be broken up in pieces. That's what the ship, you know, the ship was breaking up. Okay? She was just falling apart, the ship was. Why you rue? Why you rue? Ha ma la kem. Ha ma la kem. Why is zaku? Why is zaku? Ish. Ish. El. 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 Eloha. Eloha. Why ya tilu? Why ya tilu? Et. Et. Ha kelem. Asher, Baaniya, El, Hayam, Lihagel, Mi Alehem, Wayana, Yarad, El, Yakete, Hasefana, Wayishka. Why Yeradam? Leha Kel. To lighten, to become light. That's Hiphael infinitive contract. To become light from upon them. And Jonah, he had gone down. Look at that Jonah, he had gone down. Into the extremity, the extreme parts of the vessel. And he had laid down and became sound asleep and stayed on being really in a deep sleep. Why Yeradon? Now, in these verses, if you look back with me, you'll see a little difference between modern Hebrew and, and biblical Hebrew in the pronunciations. Uh, I think we missed the page before that. Did I miss one? Yeah. yeah. Did I miss four? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Sorry about that. If I do That's that, please right. call yeah. to my attention. No, Why ye and re -u. No, we already said it. Oh, we, we did. Okay, we didn't read it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they uh, kept on being afraid of the sailors, the mariners. And they cried and kept on crying, each man unto his gods. Look at that word, Eloha. His gods. Okay. And they hurled... And see the sign of the direct object now there? Eth. Say Eth. How many T's are there in Hebrew? How many T's? 
Huh? Three? Yeah. Here's a T. That's a TH, actually. All right? That's a TH. When it's got a dot in the middle of it, what is it? That's a hard T. All right? And what about the other T? The TEF. The TEF. That's a hard T, isn't it? T, T, T. So when you see F like this, it's not F, but it's F. F. It's not F. Now the modern Hebrew will say F, but it's actually F. F. Because it doesn't have a dot in the middle of it. Doggy shorty and doggy slangy. You know, that's the dots. One of them doubles the sound, and one of them makes it strong. If you have a dollar in biblical Hebrew, in modern Hebrew, that, that dollop, how do you say it? Da. If it doesn't have a dit in it, it's a DH sound. Da. Da. When it has a dit in it, it, it either doubles it or it becomes a strong D. Okay? A strong D. All right. Let's go on a little bit further. These sailors were afraid. And then to lighten the ship, to lighten her, from upon them, and Jonah he had gone down into the, the furthest parts of the ship and was hiding and sleeping. One and six. Why it grow? See, the end of that is a va, a va. A bath is either a strong B or here is a V sound, okay? Because it doesn't have a dit in the middle of it, okay? Why it grow? Rav, again, soft bait. Ha, Hovel, soft bait. Wayomer, Lo, Ma, Nika, Nir Dom. See that Dom there, that strong D? If it didn't have the, 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 the dot in the middle of the dollop, it would be a DH sound. Nir Dom, Nir Dom, not Nir Dom. Okay? Okay, Kum. Era, El, Elohika, Yule, Yet Ah Sheep, Ha Elohim, Lanar, Lanu, that is, Willow, No Bed, Bed. That's a D8 sound on the end. All right. And uh, he came near approached unto the captain, the pilot. And he said and kept on saying to him, Ma, Ma is what? What? What to you? Sound sleeper? All right, deep sleeper? Arise and cry out unto your Elohika. Elohika, what? In what case is that Elohika? Elohika. What case is that in? That's in the genitive case. That's a case of possession. God owns us and, and we own our God. Okay, it's a case of possession. Elohika. You lay, perhaps, maybe, he will uh, keep on taking or thinking about us. He will keep on thinking about us, the God of us, and not, we shall not keep on perishing. Look at that word avad there. Look at that word avad. This is where the name Abaddon comes from. Abaddon. All right? Destruction. Remember, there's an angel on the bottom of this pit called Abaddon in the book of Revelation. All right? That's what that Abaddon, that means destroyer. Okay? One and seven. Wayomaru. Ish. El. Riehu. Liku. We na pila. Go ra lo. We ne dia. We shellimi. Ha ra a. Hazot. Lanu. Waya ilu. Go ro loth. Waya po. Ha go ro. Allah. Yona. You like going back and reading this now? All right. Get a little bit of Hebrew in it. And they said and kept on saying, each man, 
unto his uh, neighbor friend, ye walk, and let us cause to fall lots, that we may know for ourselves. Look at that word. First person construct rule, cal cohorti. Cohorti means it's what we call a, a volatile quality of the Hebrew language. That's a volatile cohorti. And what's the other one? Who remembers what that one is? Juicy. Okay. In who the evil, look at that word evil there. That word evil, that's raw. That means exceedingly crafty. It means to destroy. It means shrewd. It means, it means uh, to lie, to cheat, to steal, to connive. The, this to us. This evil to us. And they fell the lots. Go raw low the lots. Why it pull? And he fell the lot upon Jonah. God guided this the lots to fall in the right place, too, didn't it? All right, one and eight. Wayomaru, Elah, Haggadah, Na, Lanu, Ba'asher, Lemi, Ha-Ra'ah, Hazot, Lanu, Ma, Milak, Tika. Uni, Uni Ain, Togo, Togo that is, Ma, Artsika, We, Mize, Am, Ata. And they said and kept on saying to him, Tell, please. That word, please, there, Na, say Na. Na. That means please, please, I beg you, please. That's a particle of entreaty. Page 609, as you see there. If you look at Brown Driver Briggs there, you'll see the explanation of that. To us, la nu, la nu, to us. That's a preposition with a, with a suffix on it. In which account, ba ashur. In which account, to whom, the evil, the this, to us, what? Your work. What's your occupation? Remember last week when we looked at what is your occupation? What do you do? You bank robber, killer, murder, assassin, Sakari? What are you? All right. And then he says, and from where do you come? And what your land? And from this people, you. What people do you come from? You must be a scoundrel because God is after you. God doesn't like you very much at all. Wyomer, Alehem, Ivre, Anoki, Weath, Adabar, Elohi, Hashemaim, Ani, Yare, Asher. You like this? Read this a little bit. I think you people that have done the Hebrew a little bit, this is kind of fun. Isn't it? Asa, Et, Hayam, Weath, Hayabasha. And he said and kept on saying unto them, that Ali Ham, look at that. <coughs> that suffix is Ham there, page 241, and we have an L, which is a preposition on front of page 39. A Hebrew, Hebrew, here Hebrew is an adjective, okay, describing what he is. Now, what does Hebrew mean? From beyond the river, from on the other side of the river, that's what Hebrew means. Anoki, I, that's the first person pronoun. And we et. You do not translate the et. That's a sign of direct object. That means uh, that means uh, uh, power and force is going that way. And then you have we on the front of it, which is your conjunction. Hadabar. That's the one who shall become. That's Jehovah. God of Elohim. The God of the heavens. The God that owns the heavens. I fearing. Who, Asher, relative particle or particle of relation. Asa, he has made. Look at that word, third person, massive, singular, cal perfect. In Genesis 1 1, it says, Barashith, Bara. Barashith. In one of the beginnings, Bara. Third person, singular, masculine, cal perfect. In beginnings, in one of the beginnings, God has made or has made Elohim, the Creator, et Hashemayim, we have our Aris. All right? 
That's what he's saying. You might as well go back to Genesis 1 1, because that's what he's saying here in this verse. And he has made the sea and the dry land. Ha Yabasha. Here, Sharon is another word for dry land. See that? It's not Aretz and it's not Adama. Okay? This is Yabasha. Okay? Ha Yabasha. The dry land. What in verse 10? Why Yeru? Hanashim, Yira, Gedolah, Wayomaru, Elah, Ma, Lo, Asitha, Ki, Yadiu, Ha Anashim, Ki, Melethene, Adabar, Ki, Baria, Ki, Hagid, Lehem. And they kept on being afraid. They were afraid and they kept on. They stayed that way. Yerah. They were afraid and stayed that way. The men. The mankind. Ha-anashim. Anashim here means the human race. The equivalent of that in Greek would be anthropos. Where we get our word anthropology from. And the fear. Adjective great. Gedolah. And they said and kept on saying to him, What this you have done? What crime have you committed? Because they had known, third person construct plural, how perfect they had known the men that from the face of Jehovah he was fleeing. Look at that word, Bariah, Bariah. He was fleeing. That's masculine and singular cal participle. Because he had told it to them. Wayomaru, Ila, Ma, Nahase. This is 111. Lak, Wayish Hayam, Mi Alinu, He, Hayam, Holek, We Soer. And they said and kept on saying to him, What shall we keep on doing to you? How shall we treat you from now on? That's what it means. How shall we treat you from now on? Do you see the action of the verbs in the Hebrew? How shall we treat you from now on? Continue to treat you. Okay? How shall we keep on treat, treating you? First person construct tool, cal imperfect. That he may become quiet for himself. What is going to make God be quiet? And for himself is third person masculine singular, cal juicy the mean. For himself, volatile. The sea from upon us, because the sea, he was walking and being stormy. The sea kept on walking. Remember, I told you about the sea walking? The sea is walking. When the sea is not still and flat and glassy, it is walking. The waves are walking and moving. 1 and 12. Wyoming. Alehama. Sani. Wahatil Lenu. Leni, that is. El Hayam, we ishtam. Hayam, me alekam. He, Yodia, Ani. He, Veshili, Ha Saar, Hagado, Haze, Alekam. And he said and kept on saying to them, Lift me up. <laughs> lift me up and hurl me into the sea and he will be called the sea he will be called remember what they thought the sea was how did they what they think that calls the storms of the sea the great supernatural being which was a great leviathan Okay, a great Leviathan would whip up the waters or whip up the waves and make the waves walk with these great fins and, and whatever, and he would blow and with great wind out of his mouth and cause wind to fly. Okay? And hurl me into the sea, and he will be called the sea from upon you, because knowing I, because in whom the storm great, the this upon you. It's because of me. I am the problem. 
1 and verse 13. Wayat Teru Ha Anashim Lihashi El Hayabasha Wilo Yakalu Ki Hayab Halek Resor Alahem. And they rode. And they rode and they rode and they rode. Actually, the word rode there means to dig, like with a shovel. Uh, what an oar is, is actually like a shovel. So they're digging in the water, trying to make the ship go. They kept doing this, the men, to bring back unto the land, the dry land. Look at that word. Why habashah? This is a new word for land, dry land. And not. Now we have we on the front of that, which is conjunction, and then we have lo, which is an adverb of negation. And notly, they had been able, because, third person construct rule, Cal Perfect, because the sea, he kept on walking. Masking the thing there, Cal Participle. And being stormy against them. 114. Why Yikaru? El Hadavar. Wayomaru. Ana Hadavar. Al Na Nivada. Binefesh. Haish. Haze. We all. Titan. Halinu. Dom. Naki. He Ata Hadavar Kaeshur Cha Pashta Hasita. And they cried out. And they kept on crying out unto Jehovah. Now they know the name of God. They have the right God now. They have the right God. Unto Jehovah. And they said and kept on saying, Ah, oh, now, please. Please. Please, Jehovah, not please let us perish. In soul, the man's the this. And not you uh, give for yourself upon the blood innocent because you, Jehovah, just as you have had the light, you have done. Jehovah, we know this was your will to have all this done. Now, we're just simply asking you, please spare our lives. We know you. We know how gracious you are. All right. 1 and 15. Why Yesu? Yet Yona. Why Tilunu? Lehu. El Hayam. Why Ya Amar? Hayam Mizah Ho. And they lifted up Jonah. And they cast him into the sea. And he stood still, the sea, from his raging, from his storming, from his roaring. How many of you out been in the ocean when it's roaring and raging? It's different. It can make a lot of noise. Howling and raging. That's what the sea was as soon as they threw him in there. Still like that. This is the answer to prayer. So now what do you think these guys do? They're all saved. The first thing Jonah did is save the captain and the whole ship crew. Willingly? No. <laughs> Unwillingly? Yes. All right. Jonah was a unwilling, rebellious prophet. As simple as that. Why hear you? Ha Anashim Yira Yedola Et Haldavar Why Yiz Bidu Ziva La Haldavar Why Yidru Nadarim And they feared and kept on fearing the men. A fear great and a fear godly. Godly fear is the beginning of all knowledge, isn't it? Okay. They ate Jehovah. And they slaughtered 
they slaughtered a slaughtering. They took an animal, probably something they were going to sell, and they sacrificed it to Jehovah and say, look, we love you. Thank you for saving us like this. This to harm was over. They were believers. All right. Unto Jehovah. And they vowed. Look at that word vowed. And they vowed. Vows. What do you think they vowed? We will serve you and only you from now on. They vowed vows. All right. 2 and verse 1. Why Mon, Hadvar, Dag, Gadol, Libloah, Het, Yona, Wahi, Yona, Bime, Ha, Dag, Shilosha, Yamin, Yu Shilosha, Lilo. Now had ordained, now had predestined. Third person, master, and senior, PL, wow, consecutive, and perfect. Look at that. Predestined. Elected. Jehovah. A dog. Dog is a big fin. That's a fish. A dragon. Big thing. Like a leviathan. Maybe God's leviathan that was going to be thrown, or that was thrown on the, when the rod became the leviathan the dragon on the floor of Pharaoh's palace. Okay. All right. The floor of Pharaoh's palace. The big fins. Dagon. The word Dagon. The god Dagon is from this word. Dagon is from this word. Uh, a fish great to swallow Jonah. And he became Jonah in the belly in the stomach of the fish. Three days. Three days it's going to be in the stomach of this fish. Yu Shilo Shah. And three nights, Lilo. Lila is from this word here. Lila. Say Lila. Lila, Lila means night. Lila means night. Okay. Now he's dead in the belly of this fish. He was drowned in the ocean. Now he's dead in the belly of the fish. Alright? And we're going to see... Jonah is not unconscious. He's not soul sleeping, okay? He's not soul sleeping. He's not unconscious. He's not in some deep sleep as, as your Jehovah Witnesses, as your Seventh day Adventists, as your uh, Herbert Armstrong, the Worldwide Church of God, all of that. They all come from the same group that started back in the late 1800s. All of them believe in soul sleeping and all this blowing. He's, he's awake. He's awake in Sheol. This place right here, Sheol, paradise, side of Sheol. He's a saved man, but he's a rebellious man. So God kills him to get his attention. <laughs> he kills him to get his attention. Simple as that. Now, even though in our Bibles we're actually on 2-1 now. Oh, yes. It's, it's the, your English Bible does not go along with the Hebrew Bible in many, many places. It will not be in the second chapter. Alright? Why it palel? And he prayed and kept on praying, Jonah, unto Jehovah. His God from the stomach of the fish. Now his body was in the stomach of the fish, but where was Jonah? Alright. Why Yomar? Garati? Mitzarah? Deh? El Havar? Why Yahaninu? Mibbeten, Sheol, Siwati, Shamata, Kodi. Alright. And he said and kept on saying, I have cried out from distress to me unto Jehovah, and he answered me from the stomach of Sheol. He was now in the in the abyss of Sheol. He's in Abraham's uh, bosom. Okay. And I had cried for help. And you had heard my voice. You had heard my screaming and my crying. 2 and verse 4. Watashi li kini. Mitsula. 
Belabar. Yamim. We Nahar. Yeso vi vini. Mishbarika. We Galika. Ale. Avaru. Do you see all the soft bees in there? All the soft baits? And did you see the so hard de death dollars and the soft dollars as we read? For you through me. Second person, masculine, senior, if L, well, consecutive and perfect, suffix for first person construct singular. You have thrown me, you have me thrown into the depths, into the heart of the waters. And the current, it kept on surrounding all of me. Your breakers and your waves you're walking over me. They kept walking over me. And they passed. And kept walking over me. Two and five. We on he. On Marty. Nig Rashti. Neneged. Tanika. Ak. Osef. We ha bit. We ha bit. Two bees in there. We hop it. Do you see the 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 dip in the middle of that bait there? That doubles it. Okay. And that pet on the end of it, that's a hard T in it. Bit. Bit. Okay. Ella he call up unto the temple, your holy. Kadishika. Your holy temple. Your apartness. Your separateness. That's the word hagios in the New Testament. It really means hagios means not of earth. When we're born again, we're born not of earth. 2 and verse 6. <coughs> Afa finu. Afa. I'll get it. Afa funi. Mayim. Ad. Ad. The H sound. Ad. Nefesh. Tehom. Yeso bibini. Suf. Shabush. Le Roshi. Le Roshi. Ah, fa, fa, ni. They have encompassed me. That's perfect tense. Third person construct, plural, cal perfect. Waters unto my soul. In other words, what's he saying here? That I was drowned. I was, I was drowned unto my soul, leaving my body. So. Jonah was drowned before he was swallowed by the fish. He was dead when the fish swallowed him. The fish swallowed dead bait. You understand? <laughs> dead man. He swallowed the dead man. So the waters had drowned him unto the separation of his body and his soul. The word nephish there means soul. All individuals of life have soul. All animals have souls. Nephish. All animals have nephish. Okay? To home in the depths, in the depths. Ya so bivini, and he keeps on surrounding me. Third person, mass and senior, poel and perfect. The reeds, the reeds are all wrapped around him, his body. The reeds are all wrapped around his body. Having been bound to my head, he strangled with these weeds, these seaweeds, literally reeds. When you talk about the Red Sea, it's really not the Red Sea, but the Reed Sea. The Reed Sea. The Red Sea comes from what language? Where did the word, the term Red Sea in the book of Exodus come from? Did it come from Hebrew? Huh? Greek. It came from the Greek Septuagint. Yeah. The Sea of Reeds is where they cross, not the Red Sea. It calls the Sea of Reeds. Okay? Lick gets the Harim Yarada Yaradati Haaretz Le Be Rehiha Baadi Le Olam Wataal Mishache Haye Hadbar Elohe To the extremity, to the foot, to the foot of the mountains, I have come down. 
You know, the bottom of the ocean is a foot of mountain someplace. The earth, the islands, are all mountains. And the bottom, Jonah went to the bottom of the sea. He was drowned. The bottom of the earth, Ha'aretz, earth, Everts, Everts, what does Everts mean? Everts. Dry land. Okay. Adama. Adama. What does Adama mean? The earth as to related to man. Has to be related to man. The ground. Okay. To the extremity of the mountains I have come down the earth. With her bars. In other words, I am locked. I am dead. I am brought from life. This great gulf in Sheol now, between Sheol and uh, the place of the part, you know, the hell part of it, the place of torment, there's great, you can't leave this. There's bars all around it. Once you die, you die. God's going to do something different with Jonah. He's going to bring you back. Okay? He's going to open those bars. Okay? All right? With her bars in unto me to forever. I am forever going to be in Sheol now. At least he would have been at Sheol until Christ died on the cross of Calvary and was raised from the grave. They took those up out of Sheol into heaven. Nobody in the Old Testament went to heaven because heaven hadn't been procured yet. To Li Olam, to, that's forever. That means time upon time upon time, a long period longer than we can understand. Olam means you go to as far as you can understand and then that's where Olam begins. Forever. You brought up from Sheol my life. Jehovah my God. Look at that. You brought my life. This word, this word life here, this is where your breath is. Your breath. Chaya. Say Chaya. 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 That's life. That is living life. He was dead he was miot. He was dead. Necros. Thanatos in Greek. He was dead. His body was separated from his spirit and soul. Alright. O Jehovah Elohe. Elohe. What does Elohe mean? What in what case is that in? The genitive case, the case of possession. O Jehovah, my God. And O Jehovah, God of me. God that I belong to, and God that you belong to me. <coughs> 2 and verse 8. Be hit hot tape. Ale nafshi et havar. Nakarite watabal. Ilika. Ethilati. El Hikala God Shikala Into faint upon my soul Jehovah I have remembered When I had died I remembered <laughs> He didn't go to sleep I want you to He's not soul sleeping Alright And she came to you My prayer Unto the temple of your holy temple Your holy dwelling place Your holy your holy separateness. 2 and verse 9. I have a question. Yes. What does it mean to have she? Who is she? And she came to you. My prayers. My, your prayers are feminine gender. Oh, yes. Thank yes. you. Everything has gender. The ocean has gender. The sky has gender. Plants have gender. Animals have gender. You have gender. Everything has gender in Hebrew. And when you speak in Hebrew, the gender is included in it. All right? And she, the prayers, came. She came, the prayer. Okay? Misha Mary. Havli. Jaw. Hashdam. Yahazohu. One's honoring, paying heed, masculine plural, PL participle. One's keeping, vanity, vapor, havel. What was that boy that got killed real soon after, you know, in the Old Testament? What was his name? The one Cain killed? Huh? Abel. 
this is the root of his name right here. His name means vapor. This is the root of Abel. It means vapor. Vapor is short-lived. Vapor. Havel. And Abel's name was Hebel. Abel. Abel. Okay. A shawl. Vapor. In emptiness. The word emptiness, shawl there, means like idolatry. Worship of idolatry and things like that is empty. It's worthless. It's useless. Much of man's religion, beating himself and going and chasing after a god that, that he's trying to, to capture, is useless. Our God captures us. Captures our attention with His Spirit. Hashdam. All right. Hashdam. Goodness. A covenant loyalty. All right. Covenant loyalty. They keep on leaving loose or forsaking. All right. Keep on leaving loose or forsaking. Two and verse ten. Wa'ani. Begol ho da es bi ha blog asher nadarti ashu lema yeshu ata la hadvar and I we ani and I in voice a thanksgiving to to da to da see that word da there it actually should be d a h. Total da, total da. In Spanish, uh, a taco is really a taco. Taco, not a taco. It's got a softer sound to it. Taco. All right, right here. Totally da. Es the ha. See the bass there? It's got a. It's not a double, but it's a strong bass. Otherwise, it'd be a ba. Es biha. Es bi cha. Literally, it's got a ch sound in that. See that that chest there? The chest <coughs> should have a ch sound. Es bi sha. Lock. Asher nadarti. Ashulima. A Thanksgiving I shall slaughter. Look at that one. I shall slaughter. First person construct, singular, cal, cohortive. For myself, I shall slaughter. I shall make a sacrifice to you. That which I have vowed, the sacrifice that he is going to do is that I have vowed that I will go to Nineveh. Because God is going to save Nineveh because God has a purpose for Nineveh. He's part of God's eternal purpose and his irresistible plan mankind. I have vowed that I shall fulfill for myself first person construct singular PL cohort. PL stem means what? In Hebrew in the, in, in the force of the verb. It's a strong violent force. Alright. Salvation and deliverance. Yeshua thought. Yeshua comes from that word Joshua. Alright. And of course La Hadabar to the word Hadabar. In the Old Testament, when they came to the name of God, it was Hadabar or Hashem. They did not say that name. The modern Hebrew is called Him Adonai. Okay. But a long time ago, it was Hadabar or Hashem. Wayomer. Hadabar. La Dog. Wayaki. Ya Noah. Or Et Ya Noah. El. And he spoke and kept on speaking Jehovah to the fish, to the dog, the great Leviathan or whatever it was. And he had vomited Jonah unto the dry land. Now, let's go back. Now we're, now we're in the third chapter where we left off last week. Now, Jonah, Jonah, supposed to go to Nineveh, which is about 600 miles northeast of Jerusalem. Instead, he takes off 2,500 miles the other direction, west to Tarshish, which is Spain. He's going to go there. He gets out there in the Mediterranean Sea, and God causes a great leviathan or storm to rage in the sea. Uh, the, the ship is breaking up. 
the sea captain and the crew and the pilot all agree that something's going on here wrong. Somebody in the ship is, is, is definitely offending God. So they start rolling dice, and the dice the lots fall on Jonah. So they said, it's your fault. And God calls out. So they confront Jonah. Jonah said, it's my fault. I'm running from Jehovah. I, I worship the God who created the heavens and the earth, the dry land and sea. I'm not worshiping idols like you are. Very prejudiced. Nose in the air. That's why he ran. He did not want Nineveh to be saved. They were Gentile dogs. They didn't deserve to be saved. God's covenant people only, as they still believe today. They're the leaders. Well, God's going to teach Jonah that some of these heathens are just as good as those Jews. <laughs> They're worth saving. All right, three and one. Jonah preaches to the Ninevites. Now, how does he get here? He's died. He has died. He's in Sheol. God resurrects him. God uses this fish. Now, see if I can stand up here. All right. Here's the Mediterranean Sea, Asia Minor, Europe's over here. Okay. Go out around this way. Here's the here's Africa. You got to go all the way down the southern tip of Africa. Come up here. Here's the India over here. The Indian Ocean into the Persian Gulf and way up yonder over here is Nineveh. Okay. But you got to go up the Persian Gulf, which is out here, and the Tigris and Euphrates River and uh, Nineveh is on the eastern shore of the Tigris River. Now he was going to go 2,500 miles from here over to Europe and run away over to Spain. God stopped him out here in the Mediterranean someplace. He drowned. He was swallowed by a great fish, which is a leviathan or some kind of a great big fin, a dog. Okay? That fish transported Jonah either by air over here, 600 miles from Jerusalem, or he went all the way around the southern tip of Africa and came all the way up and went back up in there, which is thousands of miles. Okay? Whatever way God did, it don't matter. I don't think I've ever heard anybody preach about that for some reason. I don't know why. But it's there. It's in your face, all over the place. Okay? How long did the fish swim? Or fly. Three days. Three days and three nights. Okay? He could, he could have flown from here over here pretty easy. Or he swam and swam his fins off. <laughs> All the way around this way. Which way it doesn't matter. But he got him there. And he got him there and he spit him out on the shore. Okay? I have a question. Yes. Couldn't he just have spit him out on where Jonah caught the the boat? No. This is land between here and there. All land. I know, but Jonah caught the boat. He caught the boat over here. Right. Mm -hmm. So this we, is way up here. This this is mountains and continents across. I mean, this, I know, but Jonah had to get from Nineveh to. Oh, he didn't go to Nineveh. Oh, he wasn't at Nineveh. He he hit the Mediterranean Sea. He went from Nazareth. Oh, okay. So the little place where he lived, that heifer are. Uh, he left that place and went to Spain, which is Europe. God stopped him here, either flew him over this way or traveled him all the way around through here and spit him out over there, one or the other. Don't know what, what he did, but he did something. He transported him with this great fish. Now, if it's really a Leviathan, they say Leviathans could fly. Okay? They were a dragon. A, a fire-breathing, wings, big fins, and everything else, dragons. Okay? So whatever it was, it happened. Why he? Davar. Adavar. El Yonah. Shinith. The more. And he became the word of Jehovah unto Jonah. The second time, say. Kuma. Lech. El Nineveh. Ha'er. Ha'gila. Olah. Yikra. Eliha. Eth. 
ha keria ha share anoki the bear elika rise and you go mask in the scene or cal imperative you go unto Nineveh the city the ha er what does the city mean what does er mean in Hebrew what does it mean er what it means watchtowers a city that has watchtowers and walls it means to watch okay so what it means a watched place a guarded place okay uh, the great and you cry out to her see that to her that is that we have there we have a preposition with a suffix that suffix is second person feminine singular to her at the proclamation the ha which I declaring edict unto you that's the singular cow participle three in verse three now why you come Yona why you lack El Nineveh Kidbar Hadvar we can we can we in the way Hayetha here get the law Le Elohim Mahalek Shiloshe Yamim now this city is about 60 miles across that's how big it is about 60 miles across now he's he's walking and preaching all the time, spitting fire. Talk about a hellfire and damnation preacher. He's doing it, okay, all right. And he rose up and kept on rising up, Jonah. And he walked and kept on walking unto Nineveh according to the word of Jehovah. And Nineveh, she had become a city great unto God from a journey three days. In other words, it took a, a man three days' journey to walk across her to walk 60 miles took three days journey a lot of hard walking I don't think Jonah liked any of the people there and I think he just kept on walking and preaching yes brother. besides the hatred he had for those people was he afraid to go there because maybe for a persecution maybe you know when God tells you to go do something he's going to take care of you regardless right. these people are the ones that invented like I said the crucifixion they were impaling people they put a stake out there and set them on top of the stake and the stake slowly went up through their rectal area and would break in through and they would bleed to death internally that's what that was the original crucifixion on a stake it was called what they call impaling the Romans uh, perfected it into the crucifixion as it would later become to the cross all right and well maybe he was afraid but I think more that he was uh, he didn't like them he did and he tells us later on why he didn't go because he knew that God would save him that God was a gracious loving God and he did not want them to be saved he did Jew, not want that was them to be just a Jew thing back then but God was going to use Nineveh to chastise Israel and God was going to use Nineveh to civilize the Middle East in the ways that needed to be done to bring about his eternal purpose okay three and verse four Vayachev Yona Libo Vayer Mahalak Yon Ahad Vaycha Vayikra Vayona Od Arbaim Yon Weed Nenoe Neth Braket and he began to uh, curse Jonah <laughs> to damn them all right I remember a movie one time with old Willie Nelson in that movie it's called the red-headed stranger where he prayed a preacher played a preacher in this movie and he went into this wicked wicked town and in this wicked wicked town with these, with these this terrible family that had control of the water and everything and he went in there and took this pastor over and began to preach. And they went out there and he hauled and threw rocks at the door and everything else. And uh, 
Willie Nelson goes out and he says to him and he invites them to come in and they're out there with their beard just catawalling him and everything else. And then he starts praying, Oh God, I want you to bring a thousand demons and I want you to eat their insides out. I want you to eat their eyes out. I want you to damn them and curse them and drag them screaming down into hell. And then, oh, priest, don't do it. Take it back. Take it back. That's what John is saying here. He's damning them. He's damning them. He's cursing them. And he began to profane. The word is Talel. Page 320, Brown Driver, Brief 319, and Colin Bunkhogger. And he began and kept on damning them, Jonah, to enter into the city, a journey, one day. And he cried out, and he said, Yet forty days, Arbaim, Arbaim, yet forty days, and Nineveh, she shall be being overthrown for herself. She shall bring upon destruction on herself. That word is a feminine singular, Nephel participle. She shall be being bringing upon herself destruction. We bring upon ourselves destruction, don't we? Yeah. We bring destruction upon ourselves. Let's go on here for another verse. And we'll stop there. If you have a question or something, just have at it. Okay. Why ya a me? Why ya me? Okay. Ansi. Ansi. Nenawe. Be Elohim. Why ye grew? Why ye grew? Why ye grew? Sakim. Meg. Ye grew. We are get getana. Okay. Why yam minu? And they believed. Oh boy, this is not good news for John. And they believed. They became firm in their belief. That's what this means. Third person masculine plural if they all well consecutive imperfect. They believed and became firm in their belief. The men, the humans, the human beings. <coughs> and every, in all Indian languages, the name for the people, Dakota, Lakota, Nakota, Apache, all of these names mean the human beings. And this is the word for human being here. Anthropos, humanity. And they believed and kept, became firm the humanity of Nineveh. The humanity of Nineveh. In God, in Elohim, the Creator, by Elohim. Faith there is a preposition, page 88. And then Elohim, what does Elohim mean? Brother Mike, you remember what Elohim means? What triune God? It's a triune God. It's more, it's, it's, it's a what we call the plural word. It's not singular, it's not duel, but plural, which means three or more. Okay? Now, if you ask the Arab about that, you'll say, well, it just also means big. Because they don't believe in three gods, they don't believe in the Trinity. We don't believe in three gods ourselves, but they don't be, they believe in a trinity. They don't think they can only one God, one Elohim, and that name means great, big, like Abraham. It means big, big Abe, big Abe, you know, big Abe. And they proclaimed fasting. That means going without food. They proclaimed this third person masculine plural, cow, wow, well, consecutive, imperfect. They, they proclaimed a fasting, and they put... And they placed third person masculine plural, cow, wow, consecutive, imperfect, sack clothes. This is rough clothes. The word sock, see that sockim? Sockim comes right out of that. Sack cloth, rough cloth. The most base clothing. Toe sacks, so to speak. Flower sacks. Maryland, when she was young, they made their own clothes. They had a lot of money, but her mother would not spend a dime on them. So they went out there and took the feed sacks and made their own clothes with their feed sacks and they went to school in feed sacks. Feed sacks at one time was real good cloth. You remember when they had cloth sacks a long time ago? Yeah, My dad's clothes were made out of that. Yeah. Sack cloth. Megidolam. From their greatest? That's from Gadola. From the greatest. Look at the man. Meg. Meh there means from. That's a preposition from. From the greatest. Unto the smallest. 
unto the smallest. Now, do you have any questions? We went all the way from from one run through three and verse six. Do you have any questions? Why did Jonah want to? Why was Jonah so urgently desiring to come back to earth? And because he just wanted the opportunity to obey God, he felt guilty afterward. Uh, yes, he when he was in Sheol, he vowed a vow, and his vow was to preach. Now God was going to put him there anyway, because he was going to save Nineveh. He had foreordained that he was going to save Nineveh. All these people he knew would be saved, so he's going to make sure the preacher gets there, whether he likes it or not. Jonah vowed a vow while he was in Sheol, that he would go. Okay? And he went. And preached hellfire and damnation with a curse, profaning and cussing them all the way, cursing them. Send a thousand demons, God. Eat their eyes out. Put them down in the hell. All this kind of stuff. <sighs> Boy. Yes? Um, I, I'm sure you said this last week, but I just, if you could just repeat it again. On the bottom of these pages, when you go in and do like third um, person masculine or whatever, all, there's numbers 685 through 738, chapter 2, verse 4. Just looking at a few of these, um, I'm wondering, that's a book. Which book is like Okay, Brown Driver and Briggs, that's the book on the top right there. You can come over here and write that down. And the bottom one down there is, I didn't bring all the lexicons. I've got Gesenius, I've got Goth lexicons. I will write down the, the E usually the name, but when I have two names, two page numbers, that's usually Brown Driver and Briggs for the first one. The second one will be uh, uh, Kohler and Baumgartner, which is a, a two... Uh, a two-volume uh, set of lexicons. So like when you do 1020, that's the Brown Driver Briggs, and then there's a flash? Yes. And the 1527 is... That's the Kohler and Baumgartner. Kohler and Baumgartner, yeah. thank you. Kohler and Baumgartner. Anything else? That camera is saying something to me back there, but I don't know what it said. It said something, probably getting toward the end of the whatever. Any other questions? Any of you have any other questions? Young lady, it's good to have you in the class today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I, I hope it didn't found you with all this <laughs> deep no. stuff. I mean, uh, you know, you're going to speak that language with my grandmother, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> all right, Brother Abe. Good to have you here tonight. Cindy, Sharon, Brother Mike. Brother Mike, would you be adverse to coming up here and dismissing us in prayer, Brother? Uh, <coughs> Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to come and study your word again and help us learn what you have for us all of these verses and be with us this week till we return again to study your word. We pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Next week I will slow down just a little bit for you and we will go look in some of these books. I might bring if I feel like it. If I can carry the books out there I will carry a couple more lexicons. Uh, that Davidson's uh, Hebrew lexicon is down below. That's an analytical Hebrew lexicon. Brown Driver Briggs is a Hebrew lexicon. It tells you all the roots and where they came from and everything about it. Okay, you come up here and look at the and write down the, the names of the lexicon. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Yes.